Howdy folks, it's Johan, your favorite little ink blob, back at it today with a little bit of Marsh. This is going to be quite short here folks, but uh, you know, I was quite tired and kicking myself for not doing more today. So I went, you know, what if I did do something? Wasn't quite feeling up to doing some more Crooked Man, so let's do just a Marsh speedrun. <laughs> Probably not be better, a better time, but dip our toe back in, see what we can do. And, uh, reminder, non-sponsored. I just think that Marsh is better than giving up on the day early. <laughs> Which maybe doesn't sound like the highest form of phrase, but genuine, I, I think that's a genuine compliment. I'd rather do this than uh, try and sleep when I'm not feeling like doing anything. Whoop! Well, already off to a great start after a while away, but, uh, you know, we can take a hit. I am out of practice. <laughs> but phase two? Nice, sinking most of that. Boop. Ooh, that felt slick. Loving it. But yeah, I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes you're tired and... Marsh is, as I think I've said before, just kind of a nice game to, like, chill with, so... Hell yeah! We can, I think, afford the hit there. But, nope. Well, <laughs> we might restart, because that's... Yeah, no. 15 second penalty this early is not, uh... Not great. Wait, which button? Which button on the remo remote? Okay, there we go. Okay. Trying that again. That's our that's our one mulligan. It's like, oh, we can take the hit there to uh get things a little faster. And if we hadn't already mucked up on this one because we were out of practice, I think that would have been actually totally fine and quite respectable. Okay. Uh, too early? Well, okay, most of it came through. I will say, uh, much as I'm enjoying this kind of, uh, cheapy controller, uh, the buttons are sticking a little, it feels like, so... Might have, uh, been, what, two months that we got, uh, before we're seeing any problems, so... Not the worst, but... <laughs> mayhap... Mayhap it is coming to an end. We will find out, though. But, uh, gives me plausible deniability. <laughs> okay. Slightly over a minute, but I think that's... That is fine. That is still respectable. Once again, we're just here having fun. That, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know if that's... I mean, I know it's not just a me thing, but... I feel I feel like there, there there's there's a you know wide range of end of day philosophies, but for me at least there's a lot of times where I get to the end of the day and I feel like I haven't done enough, um, and then I tell myself that I'm going to do something, and I usually choose something that is just like slightly more than I'm like in a good place to do. And so I end up just sort of sitting there, spacing out, telling myself that I'm supposed to be doing something, but don't actually end up doing anything because I'd set far too ambitious of a goal. Um, so... <laughs> we're working on it, we're learning. Yeah, I sit down and, you know, work on video game development, or, um, you know coming up with some grand idea, working on a piece of art. No. And I sit down and yap for 20 minutes while I try and uh, roast some cactuses using using cute little marshmallow. Hell yeah. Um. Bah, bah, bah. Oop. Oh man, missed it. Um. You know, it was also fun. Uh, even though I haven't been playing a whole bunch of Marsh recently, I was super happy that uh, for Halloween, I was able to do a like uh, subtractive carving of uh, Marsh um, for Jack O' Lantern, which was super cute. Um, I am a little sad. Did not end up uh, shoving um, 
a big old uh, like uh, fire starter uh, log <laughs> into it um, because I think that would have been hilarious for uh, doing the. Um... Oop, that was bad. Um, I think that would have been hilarious for like representing Marsh being damaged, but you know, we we do what we can. And you know, it's, I, I haven't done a whole lot of the subtractive carving in the past, so pretty proud of what I was able to pull off with it. Um, it I will say it was kind of fun. If, if you've never do, done that before, um, what I'm talking about is like, um, rather than, uh, I guess, I don't know if subtractive carving is the right word, but what I'm trying to get at is the, um, Rather than like cutting holes out that the light will come through, um, you sort of like cut off the skin of the pumpkin without going all the way through, so that the light just sort of goes through the like finned areas. Um, I thought that was a cute way to like get the sort of lightness of marsh um, in its natural natural marshmallowy uh, color, while uh, still having like uh, dark spots for the eyes and such. That was super cute. We've got uh, pics in the Discord if you're interested in seeing. Or actually, you know, I could probably, um, I'll think about it. I could probably edit in, we could probably slap something in because I'm probably not posting, like, immediately after I finish filming, so. Yeah, we could probably, I could probably, uh, go dig that up and then in the video so that you don't have to do extra legwork to see cute little uh, carved marsh. <laughs> my, my one thing, so um, I did enjoy, I like to do, I don't do as much woodwork, um, I do want to mess around a bit with like um, inlay engravings, um, but I do some metal engraving, um, or at least I have uh, for like uh, holiday presents and such, birthday presents. Um, and so I've, you know, I've got a little, a little engraving practice, which I think was actually genuinely quite helpful, um, with being able to, like, slowly carve off chunks of pumpkin flesh. Sounds a little horrific. And, it, you know, it genuinely kind of is. Um, there we go. Nice. Um. It feels a lot more graphic than just, like, stabbing through the pumpkin somehow. Because you're, like, peeling off layers of flesh. Um, because you're trying to get certainly the, like, hard outer layer of a pumpkin. Um, like, you definitely need to get that um, taken off. Um, but you then also uh, sort of scrape at, like, the, the fruit underneath a little bit. Um... Woo! Um... Ah, cut it too close. Um... But it's, you know, you, some... I, I don't think about this, or at least I wasn't thinking about this until it happened. But the, um... Ah, darn. Too much yapping. Um, but the flesh of the pumpkin wept. <laughs> because, um, you get... Um, as you're doing that, you're breaking some of the cells open, and the water started leaking out. Um, yeah, the A button is definitely jamming a little bit. Oh well. In, in fairness, my penalties have not come from that. <laughs> there we go. Whew. Yeah, that's uh, more penalties than we want to be seeing, but... I don't think I'm setting any sort of uh, personal record run here. Just kicking back, having fun. Womp. Getting back in the groove, because it's been... And it's probably been about a month since I've played any Marsh. Uh, so, yeah. Dusting off the skills. Obviously gonna become the uh, world's first pro Marsh player. <laughs> also, uh, shoutouts to Sigma144. Um, please. I don't know, I don't actually, I don't know if, um... He does anything YouTube wise, but uh, fantastic streamer over on Twitch that uh, hangs out with us a lot and has suggested some lovely games and plays a lot of cool stuff. So, if you enjoy like Bob is You and Lingo, things along those lines, 
uh, Sigma, absolutely the kind of guy for you. Woo! Oh, I, I should say, mention him because uh, he started picking up uh, Marsh recently and, uh, unlike me, seems to be, seems to be a natural. <laughs> has been absolutely cruising through stuff. I don't remember the exact time uh, that he's got for speedruns right now, but it's pretty close to the, like, slightly over 20 minutes that I've got. So, absolutely, absolutely give him a peek. Boop, boop, boop. Don't love the penalty, but again. <laughs> what? Johan yapping, yapon, causing issues? could have ever guessed. Okay. Oh, I completely forget the colors. <laughs> or the, the patterns associated with the colors. Okay, so red is up. Okay. Definitely shot short there. So I was seeing if I could get the little cheekiness in. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so green is bounce, and then blue is kick up. Ooh! That was... <laughs> not a not a good foosball run. Is it called foosball? I feel like I've heard it called foosball, but I'm not, like, 100% on that. I feel like I've heard it called a number of things. It's always fun when you, like, you hear something called one way first. Whoop. Okay, yeah. Um, and just like, just because that's like the first time you're introduced, that is how you always think of it going forward, but, um, even, even if that's like not a common word for it, I don't know. I, I do not know specifically in regards to this, the, like, table soccer. Um, I mean, you're literally watching what I'm doing, of course. <laughs> of course I do not need to describe it. Um, but, um, yeah, I, like, I, I don't know. I don't actually know um, what it's, like, most uh, called by the most number of people in the world. Um... Yeah, I, f I feel like that's just one of those things of, like, you... Mm, you know, you you learn... Oh, that's real bad. You learn a particular way, um, and then it's... Because that sort of forms, like, the basis of your first thoughts about it, it's, it's very hard to, like, break that. Oh, this is... Yeah. No. <laughs> what, we've already racked up over a minute in penalties? Oh, boy. We will still post this because, again, like this is I. This is not. This is not a channel where I'm out here being like, "This is yeah, the top tier gaming content." But uh, whew, <laughs> we are rusty. Ooh, awesome! Got some good shots in there. And now the water phase. Well, one of the water phases. Okay, we actually got a few of the hits in. Missed there. Too early. Yeah, I like on the left side because, um, you know, he's coming down and it feels a little easier to line that up. I still don't think we've ever gotten what I would consider a, like, awesome run on this phase. Um... Oh, you know, I wonder, maybe this is goofy, but I wonder if we, if when he's on the top, if we sort of like just barely lead him and then if we just barely lead him and then move in like synchronicity or at least like speed, the same speed as him. There we go. If that, I feel like that should allow the shots to hit, but maybe not. I don't know. Things to try. Probably should have tried more of this run, but only occurred to us after the fact. Yeah, I think I think where you want to be on that on Elder Zero is uh, at 
I, I think I think Silver said like sub ten minutes before. I think as long as you're like yeah, un, un, under like in the ten to eleven minute range, I think is probably pretty good there. So we've been a little slow plus racking up the penalties. So, poof. Because at this point, there's four more bosses for us. Um, so trying to yeah, trying to get uh. Trying to get through those in six minutes is oh boy, bonum bound. Still love Ocelot a huge amount as a piece of music. Boom 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 boom. I've tried doing a Johan Noises cover of it since, blah, since uh, I, I believe I believe I asked permission for that. I, I have a strong recollection of that. I should double check, um, or. I, I should double check that I did actually ask for that. I'm, I'm fairly confident I did. Oh, whoa. terrible. Um, actually, no. I know I did because I, I, I did actually take a crack at making it. Um, ooh, that was poor, poor timing. Um, um. But yeah, I, I, I was like, oh, I, I want to make like a Johan Noises cover of it because every time I hear it, I go, boom, boom, boom. I, I, I love to make noises along to it, so. Um. Ooh, God. Um. But turns out, I don't have a great sense of like editing the music together. <laughs> um. And like try, trying to decompose it into its component parts so that I can like get get the different things to mix together I'm very much struggling with um oh boy I think that should be it yeah man <laughs> 16 minutes already woof um because yeah it's this and then so it was that and then we've got Skylia um and then it should be Scrappa and Squirm I think I think this is probably sub-25, um, but definitely on the struggle bus compared to what we've been able to do in the past. This this feels almost more like a, uh, a run that we would do on stream. <laughs> but we're having fun, we're having a good time. Um, like legitimate, legitimately, like the, the, the alternate plan here was sit in bed, thinking about, like, doing some writing. <laughs> or going, man, I should sit down and I should uh, do some stuff in Unity to just, like, practice those skills and then go, ah, oh, but, man, that requires a lot of, like, thinking and then some troubleshooting and then inevitably something's going to come up that means it doesn't just go according to plan, which is fine because that's kind of the fun of coding in a lot of ways is the just like repeated loop of problem solving but when you're already very tired and trying to convince yourself to do stuff i don't know the trying to actually like troubleshoot from ground zero is kind of a tough ask when i'm like actively trying to like not fall asleep whereas i don't know sitting back and talking and just shooting marsh juice we can do that we don't have to have too much brain active for that it is funny i have um also been redeveloping a hankering um for hades i think that's because i started playing um last like uh God. i think that was december um and i think a lot of it oh scrappa yes um, I started playing uh, last December, and that was sort of the first game in a long time that I was just, like, playing purely for enjoyment and really getting into. Um, and it's... Um, whoop! Uh, it's strongly associated with memories of, like, uh, my, my house heating? <laughs> Which I've just turned on for the season. Um, I don't know, it, it's funny, it, it's funny that the, like, the heating in my house, like, generates a lot of nostalgia, because it also, um, 
reminds me of sitting over the heat vent um, as a little baby meat hon um, reading the uh, Percy Jackson series. Um, I don't know if that's like a normal way of interacting with heat vents, but I, that's, oh man, I loved uh, to like literally sit, not like directly skin contact onto the heat vent, but, um, okay. Um, but like I balloon my shirt over it so that the, the air is blowing through there. It really dries out your skin and I'm sure probably is like actually very unhealthy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I love it. It just makes you feel very, like, warm. It, you're, you're in a little tent made of your own pajamas. It's very pleasant. So I, I have very fond memories of, like, sitting over the, sitting over the heat vents, um, reading um, the Percy Jackson series, which is then strongly associated in my brain uh, with Hades, obviously. Um, and Redwall. Man, I love Redwall. It gets so repetitive plot-wise after a while. <laughs> I was willing to be so forgiving of it because it's just so charming. Boom, 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 boom. Also, uh, very excited. Um, if any of you are watching and are not familiar, like this is your first experience with Marsh, which it's one of those weird things of like, on the one hand, that's very, very, very reasonable because you know it's it's a small game, so I'm one of the you know, few players of it, so it would be, you know, reasonable for this, for mine to be the, like, or my experience to be the first that you've seen of it. At the same time, how are you stumbling across Marsh content? <laughs> Most likely because you are aware of Marsh. Um, in any case, though, uh, if, if you are, if you, if, if this is something where you're not super aware of everything, um, March, while we still uh, get some occasional updates, um, is also uh, currently uh, the, the sort of next big thing here is March 2 is under active development uh, by Silver Fillet, um, creator of March. Um, and uh, today it was mentioned that uh, one of the mini games is like 90% of the way done, which is super awesome. Um, so. Progress has happened. Things are moving and shaking. Um, March is going, or March two is going to be 3D, I believe. Um, obviously, uh, every subsequent March will add one further dimension. Um, I'm very much looking forward to March three with 4D. Um, but yeah, um, so that's that's moving, that's that's moving and shaking. Stuff is happening. So. Uh, don't know, don't know expected release date or anything, but uh, if if you enjoy if you enjoy March, um, absolutely uh, keep an eye out for March too. And also, if you just sort of like the general like vibes of um, of, of I don't know, I get it's a very different style of game, but just like the the sort of the 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 imprint mm, words are hard. We'll figure it out once we kill Squirm. <laughs> What I'm trying to say is go check out um, Gridollar and I suppose Garlic Bread Castle. Um, Garlic Bread Castle was goofy, but uh, definitely big fan of Gridollar uh, as like a puzzle game. Wow, even with all of those penalties, 2207? Because we got like a minute and a half of penalties in there, so. Huh. Well, so we got at least, at least a minute 15. Because I know that we got 45 seconds on Elder Zero, and I think we got 30 seconds... Or no, it was 45 seconds on the box and 30 seconds on Elder Zero. And I think we got a few other penalties. Man! We may have actually been on a PB pace if not for the, um... If not for the, uh... Oh my god, words. Penalties. There we go. Um... Yeah, I interesting. Did not was not even paying that much attention, but so maybe we aren't as out of practice as we thought. So nice. We will, you know, um I think priority is still um Crooked Man. I want to get through that um and near uh I think Crooked Man is like seasonally I want to get through it and that's probably like more of a like sort of I've got like maybe hour hour and a half sort of sort of like mid 
mid-range on stuff. Marsh is like something quick and snappy. And then near, I really need to pick up near again. But that's it's something where I want to be able to sit down and just crunch through it. I've got less my my evenings are a little more broken up right now. So want to get there, we'll see. Um but yeah, uh I was saying Gridoller, um G R I D O L O U R because British British spelling. Um um, lovely sort of like tile based um, puzzle game that involves colors, grids and colors. Crazy. Um, very fun. Uh, you can find it on uh, HIO. Um, I believe that's going to be under TGK since that's the uh, sort of develop development name that Silver goes by. Um, very fun. Um, highly recommend. Uh, it was good and scratched the itch of like it's it's it was attainable for the kind of puzzles that I enjoy playing. So. I don't know how to describe the like the vibes <laughs> because very 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 different game than March itself is but as with most things it's sort of, I it's it's that quality that you can go look at a movie that's you know got such and such director and go ah it's a such and such film I'm terrible with that because I don't pay attention to most of that, of that stuff but I guess also like authors right it, it's the, it's the unique voice it's the voice of the video game um still has some of that element so definitely go check that out if you're interested in uh this sort of vibe that uh silver gives off um also uh apparently uh apparently uh stream so far on twitch got to catch him doing some uh drumming the other day so lots of plugging literally just plugging because i'm tired and uh i don't know if i've done all of that plugging before i guess um maybe i have don't know but uh, uh i think yeah so so silver fillet on twitch um watch him do some drumming take song requests uh, asked him about uh painkiller since that's the only song that i could think of that with like drums that i pay attention to and not an easy song was able to pick it up pretty darn well so very impressed uh go check out his other stuff um i had a blast playing some marsh hope that it, this was a fun little thing to turn on and just listen to me blather while not doing the best, but getting back into the swing of things. So, ayo, hope y'all uh, get to go out, do great things, and find ways to, just like I'm trying to find ways to do a little bit more in my day, push myself a little bit more while still making sure that I'm resting and whatnot. Hope that you guys are able to make those choices that push you just a little closer to where you want to be in life. Be well, do great things, catch you on the flip side. But for now, I must bid you adieu. Bye.